What's up everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the scraper on your PyBoy DMG. Um, the reason you'd be using the scraper is to scrape metadata, um, box art, and video previews um, to your game collection here. So if we go into our, let's do Game Boy Color here as our example. We go in here, we have all of our game list here, but we don't have anything on the right side of our screen. So we don't have, um, box art, we don't have a description, we don't have any information whatsoever on these games. And I'll go over to um, Game Boy Advance where we've already done this. So now you can see these games here. This is what we want all of our collections to look like. So if we go down here, we can see each game has uh, box art at the top. We have some just some general information on the game, the release date, genre, developer, um, number of players, and a little rating system there for each game. And then of course the description of the game at the bottom. So in order to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the start button and jump into our main menu. Our first option here is the scraper. So if we go ahead and select A and open that up, we have two um, ways to scrape. We can go on screen scraper here, or we can go to the right, which is the, um, the, game, the game's DB. Um, I recommend screen scraper. It's just my personal preference here. So if we want to scrape, we can scrape um, by collection or we can scrape the entire um, game card here. So if we jump into scrape now here, we can see um, for the filter, we can do either um, only missing images. So that'll pick up what games don't have um, or haven't previously been scraped, or we can go to all games here if you just wanna kind of rescrape what you've already done and just do a, uh, a full scrape of the entire game collection card. I recommend doing um, only the ones that are missing images just to save yourself a lot of time. This card that I'm demoing today is a massive card. We've got um, just under 10,000 games on here. So I'm actually gonna go into systems here and select just the Game Boy Color just so we could show you um, with a limited amount of games here versus all 10,000, we'd be here all day. Um, so if we go into systems here, we go ahead and select A. We can actually choose which um, game collection we wanna scrape. So if you actually scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can just go into that select none option there. That's gonna wipe out all these um, selections and then we'll, we'll scroll right back up to Game Boy Color and we'll select that. Now you can do this um, when you're doing it on your own. You can do all these at once. Um, you just need to be connected to your Wi-Fi. I do recommend doing a couple at a time just because it, it's super time consuming and you don't wanna let this, um, I don't think it's a great idea to let your Pyboy DMG sit scraping for a long period of time. So maybe break this up into a couple collections at a time. Usually I'll do two or three and then um, once those are done scraping, I'll jump into another two or three and just tackle um, the entire card that way. So we are all set for the Game Boy Color. So we'll hit B to back out of this. We'll see that our systems, we have the one selected there, which is the Game Boy Color. Now here it says user decides on conflicts. It's selected to on. I'll demo this both ways. I recommend going off. This is just gonna make it an automatic scrape where you don't have to confirm each game entry. If you do the um, user decides on conflicts and you enable that to on, it's gonna ask you to confirm every single game. It's just gonna make you um, be a part of this process. So you're sitting here hitting A and confirming each one. It's just so much easier to just um, disable that and make sure that it's on off. And then we'll go ahead and hit start here. So we'll hit start. And this is what the scraping process looks like. You'll just see it kind of jump uh, game to game, it'll populate the description on the right hand side, all the data in the center there, and then your box art on the left hand side. So you can see if you were manually going in and confirming each of these, it would um, it would take you a long time to just hit A. It's just super efficient to do it this way. You can see we're already on game um, 13 now out of 578 games. Just definitely the, uh, the better way to go. Um, in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to when this is complete and we'll resume the video there. All right, so we're winding down here with this scrape. Um, this took about 18 minutes or so to fully scrape. Um, we do have 578, it takes about a second or two for each one. Um, so 
about 18 minutes total. All right, so we can see here 554 games successfully scraped, 24 games skipped. If there's um, games that are skipped from these collections, it just means that um, they weren't able to find the um, data to go with those. So not a big deal. You're going to have those here and there. As you can see, obviously, the majority of these did work and were successful. So if we go ahead and select OK, um, we can go out of this by hitting the B button. B button again to exit main menu. And now we can see all these now have um, images, all the data across the middle there, and of course the um, game description across the bottom. So we'll just kind of scroll through these so you can see for this particular collection that we just scraped. Definitely makes for a um, cooler setup here. So this one here doesn't have a image, but it does have the other um, details there. So the other way that you can go and um, find some of these that are missing is if you go back into the scrape, um, go into main menu with start, go into scraper, and then we switch from screen scraper to the games um, DB here. We can go in now to scrape now. We'll go back into our systems list. And we're just gonna put in um, select none again, just as we did before. We'll go up to Game Boy Color, hit B to go back. We'll disable this so it automatically does it. And we have this filter here as only missing image. So this is going to go through, and we'll see if we can fill in those um, missing images. So we have 48 here. Um, so it's going to show more than what was skipped because some of those, like that one we just showed, um, a few seconds ago, it showed the um, image was missing on there. So, so this says no games were scraped. So we weren't able to fill those in. Usually these um, two scraper options are the same, screen scraper and this one here. Um, usually they have like kind of the same database of information, but on occasion you'll get um, something that was skipped on one that you're able to fill in on the other. We weren't able to do that with the Game Boy Color here, but um, it's definitely worth going through and just trying to, to do that with both of those if you have some missing um, scrapes. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, hopefully this helped you out. We've been getting a lot of questions on how to do this on the Pi Boy DMG. It's pretty much the same setup. Just remember you do have to have your Wi-Fi connected um, on your Pi Boy. So you can jump over to our um, YouTube channel. We'll have a video up there as well that goes over how to connect the Wi-Fi to your Pi Boy DMG. But other than that, that's gonna wrap up this video for today. If you found it helpful, um, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a lot of different um, tutorials based on RetroPie and um, the Raspberry Pi 4 systems. Uh, we also have some great gameplay demos from both the Pi Boy DMG and the regular um, RetroPie consoles that we have, as well as our game collection cards. You can also find us online at our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.